Good everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Henry and I'm going to be your tour guide in our Lumion series. So sit back and enjoy. Before we move on, we'd like you to do us a favor by hitting the like button, subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also hit the notification bell to get notified when we release a new video. After you've done that, we really appreciate and we're going to move on to the main content of the video. Okay, in our last video, we actually talked about how to apply settings in image renderings in Lumia. But in today's video, we are going to go further into picking animation clips in Lumia. Okay, first of all, the first things, I'm just going to go through things to consider while picking an animation. A wise man once told me that if you are pre-creating an animation, your animation should tell a story. So this is kind of a hint into movie making, but it's just the basics of animation. For instance, we are going to pick an animation of this project. So I'm going to tell a story like as if I'm taking someone through the building. That is the um, whole idea I'll be keeping in mind while picking this animation. So we're going to start right away. So to pick the animation, you're going to go to this movie tab or this corner of the screen. Then you're going to click on record. Okay. Okay. So in record, just like the image platform or the image interface, you can edit the focal length of the animation shots. So we're just going to be picking images to start. So as I said before, I'm going to start by trying to tell a story. So I'm just going to start with entering the uh, building from this region. Start like someone entering the building. So I'm just going to start. And also another thing, just to note, as the as image rendering, you can also add settings to um, animation clips too. The same way you can add settings to image rendering. So just keep that in mind. So we are going to change this from ease in to ease in linear. Then change this to ease in linear too. So we are going to okay increase our focal length a bit. Put it at this place. Then set it and go to the front of this building. And also pick another shot. So we are going to set the clip length at let's say we are going to set it at six seconds. And we're going to see what we have created. Okay. Okay. We have created the first clip. So we're going to create another clip. Okay. This second clip will be, will be just be taking a, an approach view from this approach entrance. Okay. I'm just going to be increasing it to get a hold of the building more. And I'm just going to be zooming in. I'm going to let her hide this fence, but I'm just going to pick, change this to easing linear from easing small to easing linear. Then I'm just going to pick the animation and I'm going to go down. Okay, I'm just going to edit the height of the camera and pick the second and also set it as six, uh, six seconds. Okay, now we have picked these two shots. We are going to look at this second shot we picked. Okay, as you can see, we have a problem. The fence is obstructing the view. So what we are going to do is to simply add settings and go to object, layer, visibility. We are going to hide this fence. And this fence, I actually set it under layer two. So I'm just going to click on this create keyframe tab and just simply click on layer two to hide the fence. And I'm also going to add two point perspective. I'm going to go to camera, then add two point perspective. Then to just set it. Then we're just going to look at the animation now. Okay, that's it and done. We're going to pick another animation, record another animation. So this animation, I want it to be going towards the left side of this view. So I'm just going to be picking a series of animation. I'm going to reduce the focal length. And I'm just going to just make it go along this view. So I'm just going to set it the change it to ease and linear. But I'm going to set it up. Okay. So I'm going to set this at six seconds too. Okay, it's actually too fast. So I'm going to just simply edit the clip and change it to eight seconds. Okay. 
Okay, after that clip, we are heading towards the rear view of the house. So I'm just going to. So we're going to be just recording the fourth view. So in this fourth view, we are just going to be taking an aerial shot from this swimming pool. Okay. So we are just going to hold the O. Uh, we are going to first set our easy linear. Then we are going to hold O. We are going to pick this shot first. Then hold our O button on our keyboard and just move it. So it will be like an orbit to get a kind of orbit animation. So we are going to set it and we are going to set it at, let's save it at 8 seconds. So we are just going to look at how it came out. We are going to click good. So we are going to pick our last shot for this video. Okay. And in the last shot, we are just going to be doing the same thing for the approach view. So we are going to set it and we are going to click the O, going to increase this focal length a bit and set this to ease without being linear and just hold the O, take our first shot, then hold the O orbit button and just turn it. And we are going to set this, because it's a long movement, we are going to set it at 10 seconds so we can really appreciate it. So I'm going to click good. Okay, and there you have it guys. We've just selected some clips of animation. So to actually see the entire animation brought together, you are just going to click on this entire movie tab. And we are just going to watch it play. So as you can see, this is just the clips coming together. You can see um, I apply the principle of trying to have a movement and actually tell a little story in the animation. By I started from the entrance of the building to the front, then to the back, then going to through the overall um, scale of the project. This is just a short animation clip. I just chose just to show the method of creating a good animation. Okay, thanks for making it this far into the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. In future videos, we'll be talking about how to animate objects in Lumion and also how to phase buildings inside Lumion and also phase the um, do environmental phasing. That is change weather in an animation clip. So I know people will be looking forward to learning all those things and all those techniques. So watch out for those videos. But while doing that, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more content like this, hit the notification bell and share with your friends and have a nice day and thank you.